Hi, in this demo, we are going to create point to side VPN. We'll start by going to virtual networks. Click add, pick a name for the virtual network. I can accept the default address space or change it according to the environment. I'm accepting the default here, selecting the resource group, and I will accept the default subnet and I click create. Now it's completed. Let's go to the resource, go to subnets. Now we will create a gateway subnet to be used by the network gateway, which we are going to create. So let's go to gateway subnet, accept the default here, and press OK. We are ready to create the gateway now. Let's go and create a resource. Search for virtual network gateway. Click create. Choose name for the gateway. I'm selecting VPN and route based. Now we will select the virtual network which we created. We need a public IP address. We can use the existing one if one is available or create a new one which I'm going to do now. Pick a name for the public IP address, review and create, validation passed, and then create. Now it may take up to 30 minutes to be completed. It's ready, and up to this point, we almost completed configuration on the portal. In a real scenario, there will be an internal CA for generating client certificates, but for the purpose of this demo, I'm using self signed certificates. On Windows 10 client machine, I'm using PowerShell to create one root certificate and generate a client certificate. And once generated, we need to export the public key of the root certificate to complete the gateway configuration. On the keyboard, press Windows R to open run, then MMC to open Microsoft Management Console, go to File, Add Remove Snap In, Certificates, Add My User Account, then Finish, OK. Click under Certificates Current User, Personal, Certificates, locate the root certificate and right click on that, All Tasks, Export, Next, No, do not export the private key and then Next, Select Base64 and Next, Select the location for the certificate, Save, Next, and Finish. It was exported and now it's in the desktop. Right click on that, open with, notepad, and here is the public key. So copy that to be uploaded into the portal. On portal from the gateway, go to point to site configuration, configure now, and then create address pool. For the tunnel type, I'm choosing Internet Key Exchange V2 and SSTP to be compatible with most of the clients. Authentication type, Select certificate and then we'll go put a name for the certificate and paste the public key. Click save. Now it's saved. Let's download the VPN client. Go to download VPN client and copy the files and extract the same in the client machine. On the client machine, let's install the compatible version. Yes to install. And that's it. Let's test our connection. If we click on the network icon in the taskbar, we will find the VPN connection is available. Let's double click that. Now here it's available. Let's click it. Click connect. Connect. Now it's connected. Let's go and test that. We'll open CMD from run and type CMD and type ipconfig slash all to see all the IP addresses I'm having. And here is one IP address from the address pool on the gateway. Let's test further and connect to one of the virtual machines, which is connected to the same virtual network. We'll go to the portal now, and then go to virtual machines, select the virtual machine, then go to networking, select the network interface, and here is the private IP address. I'll try to connect to that through RDP. Now let's go to the client machine. From run, we'll type MS TSC to open remote desktop connection. Type the IP address of the virtual machine and connect. Authenticate. Now it's connected. Thanks for watching.